the first card you have for your past is the chariot um i'm seeing um yeah i'm seeing protection in this card i'm seeing that you might have been protecting yourself wanting to protect yourself and i think this might have been a situation that you faced a few times um, and this time it was like i've seen this before coming to me and now i'm ready for it so i'm going to protect myself when it happens this time that's what i'm seeing was happening um to you at this time um this was quite subtle though it wasn't like someone was coming up to you and really doing something terrible to you like that it was kind of it was terrible but it was quite subtle if that makes sense um i think this might have been I think this might have been coming from a relative or it might have been coming from someone who you work with. Someone who you've known for a long, long, long time and someone who you kind of had to be around a lot, either every day or whatever, something like that. Um, and I think it might have even been more, one, more than one person doing this to you. But I'm seeing some people um, asking you questions and I think normally you don't mind talking to people, you don't mind answering questions. Um, but if they're real questions, you don't mind answering real questions. But I think maybe these were questions or comments that were designed to be kind of a bit um, shady, put you down a bit. Um, and I'm seeing this. Yeah, I'm seeing this being a bit subtle. It's the kind of thing that, you know, if you pointed it out to them and said, don't do that, um, they could kind of get away with saying, oh, it was nothing. It was just, you know, whatever. Um, but you know look at the man on this chariot you knew he's so serious you knew that this wasn't nothing um because you know you'd heard it all before that's what i'm seeing this is something that's happened to you before and this time you said i'm ready for this i'm not going to accept this anymore and you know you're determined like this man it's like no i'm not going to just sit and take this i'm going to protect myself and i'm just seeing that um you know, these are the kinds of people that say, oh, oh, don't you have a sense of humour? Oh, we're just, we're just joking. Don't you have a sense of humour? And you do have a sense of humour. Yes, if something's funny, you have a sense of humour. If something isn't cruel, you have a sense of humour. If something's designed to be light-hearted and a joke, you have a sense of humour. But this was not funny. When someone's cruel, when someone's subtle, when someone's shady and nasty and they're putting you down, they might have even been laughing at you a bit or whatever in a kind of a funny way. Like someone asked a question and then the person next to them laughs a bit. You know, It's that kind of thing. You're definitely right to protect yourself. That's what I'm seeing. Um, and, you know, I think also in the future, you're going to be very, very careful to make sure that you don't um put yourself in a position to be um kind of the center of their kind of cruelty it's like you're not going to reveal too much about yourself only the basic things um and you're not going to sit and listen to that kind of thing about you again you're either going to just walk off and let them leave them by themselves or do something like that I don't think you're going to confront them. I'm not seeing you kind of being combative or anything like that, even though the, this man in the chariot looks like he could come and fight you. He's a bit angry. But I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing you putting a barrier around yourself, protecting yourself, preserving yourself, and taking care of yourself, and becoming stronger while you do that. You're not going to run away and hide. You're not going to be angry, but you're going to be very clear that you're not going to take this kind of thing. You're going to just, you, you know, you might just look at them and say to them in the face, I don't like that and I'm not going to listen to that. It might be something simple like that. So the next card you have for your past is the Three of Swords, yes. So this was designed to hurt you. This was designed to hurt you. And it was so sly and so subtle and so sneaky. Because if you said, you know, that really hurts, don't say that. Oh, haven't you got a sense of humor? Oh, you're very sensitive. What's wrong with you? Oh, we're just joking. Oh, no. Well, no, they're not joking. You're not sensitive. The way these people have been behaving is wrong. Um, and you know it because you feel it. You know that. You know it. Um, so, yeah, they really hurt you. And, you know, sometimes it's the subtle, shady things that are said that hurt us more than um, when people come right out and insult us. Um, because, you know, these, these things are sometimes set up so that if we come back with anything or say anything, 
we're the ones that look unreasonable. Um, but you weren't unreasonable and you know that and your instincts were telling you that. And I can tell you that you were not. They were the unreasonable ones in this. Um, and, you know, I'm seeing there could have been two people sort of against you in this, because sometimes, you know, in this card, it can be about clashes in a group of people. Um, and, you know, here you are in the middle and here are the two swords on the side. So it might be something like that. Um, but yes, you weren't prepared to laugh along and you weren't prepared to put up with it anymore. And you were very clear about that. And I think there's not putting up with these kinds of people anymore um, and protecting yourself, walking away, being very clear but calm about what you'll accept and what you won't accept. Um, even people who, not just these people involved in this, generally people are going to be respecting you a lot more because they're going to feel this coming from you. They're going to feel their strength and this confidence coming from you and they will treat you with respect. And I think this is a fantastic thing. This is a really good thing for this year for you. This is a positive. The last card you have your past is the Page of Wands. So yeah, sometimes this card can be a bit about um, feeling a bit like an outsider uh, and not quite fitting in with people. And I think maybe for a long time, this is how you felt around these people. Because this page, you know, if you look at this page, he's in the desert, which is a really hot climate. But, you know, he's wearing winter clothes, he's wearing heavy scarves and boots and things like that. And that just doesn't fit in. He doesn't fit in with his environment. But again, you know, you're realising that um, you didn't want to fit in with these people anyway. If they're behaving like this, I wouldn't either. Um, and no, you don't fit in because you're a decent person and you don't act in the way that they did. The other thing I'm seeing is that... Um, I'm seeing someone who might have been seeing you with fresh eyes, actually. Someone who might have been attracted to you, someone who might not have noticed you. And now that you have this confidence or when you started getting this confidence back, um, they started noticing you a bit more. And I think, um, you know, confidence can be very attractive, actually. Not arrogance, but confidence. Arrogance is all about comparing yourself to others and putting other people down and going around showing off and carrying on about, look at me, aren't I amazing? Confidence is really about feeling balanced inside yourself, feeling content inside yourself and wanting the best for yourself, but also wanting the best for other people around you. It doesn't mean jealousy. It's not trying to put anyone down or seeing any kind of competition unless it's a healthy competition. And so this is what is attractive. And this is the state of mind that you are heading toward. And I think that's what this person was finding attractive. And this is when a lot more people are going to start to notice you. They're not just going to give you um, give you respect. They're going to notice you and kind of admire you a bit more as well. And I think that's what this person was starting to do. I think this might be someone who you might already know. You might already be in a relationship with them. Um, or you might just be their friend, or you might have just been talking to them. I am seeing some familiarity already between you. Um, but uh, there is love there. I'm feeling that. I'm seeing that. Whoever this is, um, I think expect to hear a lot more from this person. And especially expect to hear some messages from this person. I'm seeing maybe text messages or however you usually um, message. It might be WhatsApp or something. Um, there will be messages coming from them. And these are going to be sweet messages, really lovely, nice messages. I'm getting a really, really nice feeling um, looking at this. It's really nice. Um, so yes, the first card you have your present is the lovers. Um, yeah, this is a really interesting card usually because it can be about so many things. I think the obvious thing is it's about love, but there are a lot of things in this, a lot of different things. I think this person in the page of wands is seeing you again in a new light. I'm seeing that again. They're also seeing you in a very passionate way. They have passionate feelings toward you. Um, if you look at this tree of life that's behind the man in this card, the leaves are all like flames. There's a lot of passion around this man and behind him and everywhere. And um, I think you could have been yeah, again, I'm seeing you probably know who this person is, and I think you might have even been through a few um things with this person, maybe even some ups and downs, I don't know. I'm just getting this feeling of you wondering if this would ever turn into anything stable. Um, and, you know, there are a lot of unsure feelings around this. But I think this person's perceptions are changing of you. And I think this is down to 
two things. I think this is down to how different you are in your confidence levels and everything like that. Also, I think they've changed a lot as well. I think their beliefs about things have changed. And so um, they've changed as well. So I think you've both changed and this is what might be bringing you together at this time. I am still seeing you being a bit cautious around this person because you, you had this something in your past with them, I'm seeing. But... Um, but yes, you'll be a bit cautious but because the man on this card is looking at this woman, but uh, she's not looking at him. What I'm seeing is, um, I'm seeing this person saying something and what they're going to say is something that you might have been waiting to hear from them. You might have been wanting to hear from them for a long time, maybe in your past when you were with them, maybe you weren't with them in a relationship, but maybe you were, I don't know, or it was of some kind of love situation you might have wanted to hear a certain thing from them. Um, and I think they're going to either tell you this thing or they'll let you know how they feel about you in some other way. It's going to be something like that. However they say it, um, it might be in one of these messages um, that I was seeing in the page of wands, it might be another way, but you're going to be really happy to hear this from them. And this is something I'm seeing that you were waiting for. You were waiting to hear this and now you're going to either hear it or see it or they'll indicate that to you in some way and it's going to be very positive for you. The next card you have for your present is the Queen of Cups. So yeah this is a different thing I'm seeing, a different person. I'm actually seeing someone who, this is someone who you can trust, this is someone who cares for you, this could be an older relative. I don't think this person has anything to do with these people in the chariot card who I was seeing could have either been relatives or people you worked with. This is someone completely separate from those people. Um, and yeah, I think this probably is a relative and I think this is probably an older relative. I'm seeing someone who would love to take care of you if they could. Um, I think they'd love to be able to do things for you, practically cook for you, take care of you, um, all of that kind of thing. I think they're also happy just to sit and listen to you. So they might not be around you at this time because I'm seeing them kind of wishing that they were closer to you to be able to help you out. Um, but they're there to listen. They're a good listener. So you might have been talking to them on the phone about different things. And um, they might not fully understand your problems, but they do care about you. Um, I don't think they'd be able to give you proper advice, especially on problems that you're having now or going through now. That might be for generational reasons. You might be, you know, have things around technology they don't understand, or it might be that, you know, relationships today might be different to the way they experience them. It might be something like that. Um, they're also a little bit more emotional than practical, but there's a lot of love between you and they do care about you and they're happy to listen and you're happy to talk to them and listen to what they have to say as well. Um, so, you know, if this is resonating, of course, tell them about this love connection if that's what you want to do. But I am seeing someone whose imagination might get a bit carried away a bit. They might start to talk about it because they might get excited that you're in this relationship. Um, so uh, just be a bit careful telling them everything. Maybe wait until things are more established before you tell them. Um, it's up to you, of course. You can tell them whenever you like but um, that's just what I'm seeing and I don't think they're going to go around telling other people to, because of gossiping reasons. I think they might just be um, excited for you, happy for you uh, but to kind of prevent them talking about this relationship or this potential relationship um, you might want to maybe wait until things are a little bit more established so that you know for sure that you actually are in a relationship before this all takes off. That's what I'm seeing if that resonates with you. Um, the last card you have for your present is the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm getting this feeling of being optimistic about something, something you want to do, uh, something you might want to achieve. This is something that, you know, I think you feel really good when you think about this thing, but then uh, you're a little bit um, either afraid to start or worried about something for some reason. I'm not seeing procrastination. I think it might be that um, you're just a little bit hesitant. You're just a little bit hesitant. It's like you like the thought of doing this thing. You like the idea of it. It makes you feel happy and excited. But when you think about the practical things that you have to do to um, enable you to do that, um, you get a little bit scared or a little bit worried about this. So 
it might be that, you know, if you pursue whatever this is, you'll have to make some fairly big changes. Um, I don't know if this will make sense, but I am seeing something big that needs to either be cleaned up or changed or moved to enable you to do this. So it might be something like a big area in your home needs to be cleaned out to make a work area. Or it might be that you need to prepare to move something, or it might be that you're even moving house. It might be something really big like that some big change you're anticipating and that you're worried about. Now, some of these changes that you're worrying about might not even happen. They might just be things that you're kind of, that are in your head. Um, so, you know, if this is resonating with you, try not to think about all the problems associated with this that could happen. Um, just think of them as challenges to deal with, you know, when you come to them. They might not even be there when you come to them, or they might be easier, or it might be that when you come to them, your confidence has grown so much that when you do come to them, you're not even bothered about it. It's no problem to you. Um, and you know, this is the beginning of the year, so this is the time to start doing whatever this is. Don't worry about it, don't worry about potential problems or moving or any of that. Just put it aside and think, this is a problem for later, I'll solve it later when I have all the information in front of me and I'm all ready. But right now, all I can do is do a few little things to start and that's what I'm going to do. So I think, you know, that's what you really should do. Just start putting one foot in front of the other. Don't stay still like this night. Don't feel, don't look back on your life and think, oh, I really wanted to do this. It was so exciting, but I didn't do it. I just sat there not doing it. Don't be like that. All it takes is just putting one foot in front of the other, one step in front of the other, until you're almost halfway there. And then you can look back and say, look how far I've come. And that will give you the confidence to keep on going. That's what I'm seeing now. So the first card you have for your future is the world. So yeah, again, this is a huge indication to me that this thing that you want to do, this thing you want to pursue in the Knight of Pentacles is definitely worth doing. This will give you freedom. This will give you the world. This will give you a lot of things that you've been working toward that you really want. It's going to give you confidence as well. And you're going to be using this confidence if you do decide to pursue this. Um, you're going to be using this confidence and your strength to push you even further and to move yourself forward with this. So again, don't worry about having all the information. Don't worry about not knowing everything. Don't worry about of problems that might happen that might not even happen. Don't worry about trying to know it all before you even start. This card can be about growing and learning, starting off as a student, but eventually becoming an expert. I'm here on YouTube. Do I know everything about YouTube? Did I know when I started? Did I know everything about YouTube? No. Do I know everything about it now? No. Do I know everything about tarot? No. Am I still doing this? Yes. So just make a start, just do something. You can learn as you go along. That's all anyone does anyway. You know, if you go to university and do several years of study and you start in a job, do you know everything when you start anyway? No, you've learned a lot. But do you know the practical side? No, no, so nobody does. So just make a start. Everyone feels uneasy. Everyone feels as if they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> really, they do. The next card you have for your future is the Hierophant. So yeah, this can be the card of, I don't normally say this, but this can be the card of marriage. I am seeing marriage in this card. That doesn't mean that you're going to get married, I, but I am seeing marriage. I am seeing the idea of marriage. First of all, I'm seeing, this is a bit complicated, I'll try and explain what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, marriage definitely could happen between you and this person because I'm seeing it growing. I'm seeing it could be something very big, this love connection. Um, but yeah, because I'm seeing it right next to the world card. So you've got the lovers and the world card next to each other, plus the Hierophant. Um, I, this is what I'm seeing. I think this person is going to, I, I am seeing a strong connection between you. I am seeing a serious relationship between you happening. I'm seeing you being very happy. I'm seeing them being very happy. I am seeing that if you want marriage, it's going to take them a lot to take that step. That's what I'm seeing. It doesn't mean they don't want you. It doesn't mean they're not serious about you. Eventually, they might want marriage. If this is something you want, you might not even want that yourself. But if it is, it might take them some time to come around to that idea. 
Because what I'm seeing is that um, they love you, they want to be with you, and they're going to want to be with you. This is in the future. But um, I think they might have some blocks around the idea of marriage or the institution of marriage. It might be a religious problem for them. It might be the idea that it's kind of a government legal thing. It might be the idea that they don't like great big huge weddings with big white dresses and great big poofy things and flowers and all of that stuff. I don't like that either, just between you and I. Um, and it, Or it might be that they were in a difficult relationship before you and they were either engaged or married and that might have put them off or it might be their parents marriage so there's some block they have around the idea of marriage now i'm not saying that you want to get married definitely you might feel exactly the same way i don't know this is just what i'm seeing and so if this is something that you do want with them in future just be aware that they do have this, um, if this is resonating, they do have this kind of a negative perception of weddings and marriage and all of that kind of thing. That's what I'm seeing. Doesn't mean they never will. It just means that um, it will take a lot for them to take that step. The last card you have for your future is the Three of Wands. So yeah, this is reflecting what I was seeing in the Knight of Pentacles more gold, more golden opportunities, more golden things lighting up the sky. These two cards are golden. They have golden skies. So uh, yeah, this is about taking up this opportunity, doing this thing, and your whole world is going to potentially change if you do do this. Your whole outlook, everything's going to change. It's going to happen gradually because this is a slow card, um, but it will happen. It's not going to be a smooth upwards ascension either. There are going to be ups and downs, there are going to be blocks, there are going to be times when you're waiting for things to happen, like this man in this card is waiting. 